Hey guys, Jamie Chadwick here, and I'm going to show you a few laps of Brands GP circuit in an Aston Martin GT3 car and show you how to get the best out of this track. Okay, so the first lap I'm going to do, I'm going to do ultra slow because this circuit's so busy. It's uh, full of, you know, undulations, elevation changes, uh, everything you can imagine packed into one track. So yeah, if I take it nice and slow, I can actually talk to you for a little bit with a, a little bit of a gap. I can see my ghosts go off already, but this is the first corner, it's Paddock Hill Bend. As you can see, it drops away a lot. I mean, a lot more in real life, but even still on the game, it drops away a huge amount. So the main thing here is getting the car hooked up, nice up on the curb. And then as you come down into this compression, you always feel like you're gonna end up out there, but the compression hits in, and next thing you know, the car's gripped and you're away and gone up the hill. So it's an amazing corner to feel first time. You then come up the hill to Druids. This one's a little bit quirky because you think you want to be out wide and cutting back for the exit, but actually you want to hold it really nice and tight all the way around, uh, around, around to the exit. It can be a bit difficult on traction on the exit if you've got tra traction control off, um, but fortunately with the GT3 it's not too bad. Now down into Graham Hill, uh, you want to go in nice and early, hook this curb, get a lot of rotation. Um, the main thing here is to try and get the exit. Although it's a short straight, you can gain a huge amount of time on this exit. Now breaking into what we call certies, this goes onto the GP loop. So it's a really long left hander and you don't apex until this white line here. So that's about where you want to be getting close to the curb. Before that, you want a nice wide entry, all about getting the exit onto this long straight because yeah, this is the longest straight of the track, the top speed you'll get from the car and you don't want to sort of compromise anything, uh, you know, in that corner before. So come down the long straight, it drops down a huge amount into in my opinion, the coolest corner on the track. This is Hawthorne's, super fast corner. It'll be down one gear in the GT3 car. Uh, you wanna carry as much speed as possible, leave as little room on the exit. Through here now, I think this is Westfield. I don't actually know what it's called. You can actually use a bit of curb again, super quick corner. Exit wants to drag you out. So just be careful uh, on that exit curb. You wanna use all the road, but no more. Then this next corner is very blind. So the main thing here is, as you can see where the cone is, I'm gonna just come to a stop you want to turn in before this. I don't know if I can reverse on this. I will reverse because I've just gone past it. But you want to turn in before you can see, see the corner. So you want to be turning in round about now. Kind of see it on the game, but in reality you can't when you're sat low. You want to turn in, use all the curb. You can go quite uh, far across that curb. It's pretty flat. And then all the road on exit as well. Again, another really camber corner down into, I think this is Sterling. So you can use the curb. You want to get all in the inside there get the exit for the straight, um, up the gears, run it through the gearbox. And then into the final corner, clearways, which is just a really quick down one gear uh, corner. This corner really likes to understeer, so you find yourself on a quick lap quite often, ending up right out in the gravel and you've thrown away your lap. So yeah, main thing there is just not taking too much risk on the exit, but still carrying the speed. So now I'm gonna show you a little bit quicker um, as to the lines you wanna be taking. Uh, like I said, you wanna hook up on that inside curb, Use all the road here, um, it's available to you. Then now, braking really nice in a straight line. Um, you don't really want to have any lock on the wheel, but really tight. Picking up the power again with the traction control, you can be quite aggressive to power. Down into Graham Hill, cooking the inside curb is the main thing there to get the rotation. So come down into Surtees, same thing as I said before. You just want to wait, wait, wait. You want to turn in earlier, but you don't want to be hitting an apex until you get to that white line at which time it's all about the exit. And yeah, this straight's super, super long. So yeah, want to carry all the speed you can. Then coming down into Hawthorns, like I said, super quick corner, just down one gear. As you go in quite early, it's more cambered than you think there, leaving nothing to spare on the exit. Down another gear. Oh, don't touch the glass on entry. I actually did that in the last W Series race and nearly threw the championship away, just like that. So <laughs> don't do that. Um, then this blind corner, you want to carry the speed over the top, turning in before you can really see it. Again, using the camber, although you can't necessarily feel it in the game, it's still there. Uh, the circuit's very accurate to, to what it's like in real life, so you want to be using um, all those bits of camber that you can. Again here, you just want to be clipping the apex, uh, clipping the grass. Okay, so now let's go for a bit more of a fast lap, breaking in all the right points, trying to get everything together to do a bit of a better lap. So breaking into here, there's no real reference to be honest, but where the track's flat is where you want to be braking. It's so bumpy there, you don't want to brake anywhere else. Again, under the bridge here is the braking point, turning in nice and early. 
carrying the speed around the apex of the corner. Focusing on the exit there is so important as well. Breaking in a straight line here, again, no real reference, but you want to be able to carry the speed um, and get the car rotated through, through Graham Hill. Here again, the braking point is quite early, but it's just the patience, just to wait until you get to that white line before you turn in and then get the exit down onto the main straight. Now you have a bit of time to relax before you get to the mad stuff out the back. This is just a really soft brake. You don't want to pitch the car and settle it. Just want to be able to carry all the speed you can using all the road you dare on the exit. Gain just a soft brake into here. Uh, focusing on carrying all the minimum speed. These are really quick corners out the back, so you don't want to be over slowing the car on the brakes. Again, through here, it's the apex a bit there and caught the work set. It's a good lap. That's not the line you want to use through there. <laughs> then again, uh, soft brakes. Through all the stuff at the back, I say just really soft on the brakes. You don't want to be pitched the car, especially a GT car like this. Again, through the last corner, just not heavy on the brakes, just carrying the speed, carrying the minimum trying to use the front axle to be the limitation of the car rather than having any oversteer out the back. So that's a lap of Brands Hatch, or at least a lap I tried to do around Brands Hatch. It's uh, one of those circuits, it's really quirky in the sense there aren't many references. There's so many sort of bumps and sort of old school elements of the track. So I would say the main thing is just do laps around there. Don't try and sort of set yourself points to break, try and set yourself too many references because it's not the kind of track that rewards that. You just need to go out and do as many laps and learn the place like the back of your hand, which I feel like I've just about got to the level of. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe below for more.